in life, you got to be consistent with everything you do. Whatever you want to do, you don't got to be the most talented, but you have to be the most consistent. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sitting there last spring, I had 5,000 followers. And I hit up my homeboy Jersey. And I was like, your Jersey, you know what it is? I been wanting to start a podcast. Nobody trying to do a podcast with me. Nobody trying to give me shit. They're trying to tell me I need a fan base. They're trying to tell me I need a few Instagram followers and all that crazy shit. And I love talking shit. So my friend Jersey told me, Danny, you talk shit every day. I'm tired of you talking shit to me. And I'm tired of you talking shit everywhere. But your platform, if nobody's trying to give you a podcast, baby girl, you gotta go and get your own shit. Start looking at your own Instagram. Who knows? Somebody might bite into it and shit. People might really even watch it. People might really watch whatever you have to say. Cause you know, you talk a lot of shit. It's funny. I'm not saying it makes sense, but it's funny. So I'm like that. So I started making the videos. It wasn't picking up as fast. It was not picking up at all. You know what I'm saying? And one day, just like that, I made a wild video. You know? And the shit went viral. And just like that, Faro started coming in, you know, like I ended up going on World Star, Ball Alert, and all that, whatever. And Faro started coming in. Now I'm at 75,000 followers a year later. And that's interesting to me because I've been thinking about doing this video since they put the video option on Instagram. But I was just so insecure and I just didn't know how to deal with the pressure. I never did it, you know. And I'm sitting here thinking... In life, period, sometimes you just got to start. Fuck it. You want to start a business? You just got to start. If every day you get up and be like, I want to do something, you never do it. Five years later, you're still going to be like, damn, I could have done this. I could have done that. Now it's too late. So now, I'm at 75,000 followers. I don't know how it happened. Thank God. Grateful. Whatever. And now it's like, I'm like, damn, I'm running up to 100,000 followers. And I'm like, wow, that's, I'm just blessed. I'm grateful for that. Because honestly, I hate my voice. So I didn't think people was going to even want to listen to me. Whatever the fuck I was saying, I, even though I was showing titties and all that. I didn't think people were going to want to listen to me because I'm just like, my voice is annoying as fuck. Because that was my own insecurity. I had a problem with myself. You know what I'm saying? And when I started doing my videos, it was probably the best thing I ever did. Because I became myself. Like, the world got to see the real me. And it's like, I've been to school with people, high school, even college, whatever. And nobody felt like they knew me unless of my close friends. Like, my close friends know that I'm crazy like that. That I say crazy shit and I do dumb shit. Like, my close friends know that. But people that don't know me from the outside, they'll be like, what's going on with this girl? She was so quiet. But the thing is, it's not even that I was a quiet person. I would just not comfortable with who I was. I'm not a quiet person. And all this time in high school, middle school, you know, my first year in college, whatever, being so quiet and stuff, it was just me not being comfortable with who I was. It's not that I was quiet because when I'm with my friends and I'm with my family, I'm loud as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't even about that. So the whole shit is to really be comfortable with who you are and to be consistent and to really go after what you want. Because... If I sat there the whole last year and never posted no video, I would still sit there black like, damn, I could have done this shit. I could have done this shit because I have my friends laughing every day. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just trying to, you know, like see where I'm going to go with that. But I just want to say that I'm grateful for 